What's going on, everyone? Hope you guys are doing amazing. This is your boy Kays. I wanted to come at you guys with another video. So today I'm actually going to be stepping into the Spark and Zero Lane. Um, I wanted to make a little bit of a video for this game just because um, I come from the fighting game community. Um, I have a lot of understanding around how fighting games work. And I've been noticing um, as I've been playing this game a lot more, um, a lot of players are having a lot of trouble with certain characters, certain abilities, and certain maneuvers. So what I want to do today is I want to help break down for you guys how to handle um, certain matchups, how to handle certain abilities so that you during your matches understand what you are actually supposed to be doing and what you should not be doing. My goal here is to really just help you help try to train you guys how to think about things. So I'm going to do that to, my, to the best of my ability. As always, my opinion is not 100% um, factual. It's not the only opinion that is out there. So if you um, find other people that have great ideas, um, other opinions, um, by all means, do what helps you best. But what I am going to do today is what I have done here is I actually have brought up a replay about the very first character that I see that gives a lot of people problems, uh, Android 19. So why does Android 19 have such a hatred um, associated with him? Well, um, the same goes for Dr. Jero. Both of these characters have an armor ability that, that, that gives them pretty much um, super armor. And um, they pretty much can uh, have this one grab that can uh, drain your key and your health. Um, so that has been given a lot of people a lot of trouble. So what I want to do here is I want to help you guys understand how to play this matchup correctly. Understand when you're at a disadvantage, how to put yourself back in an advantage. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play a replay. I'm going to start it from the beginning. So here we go. All right. The scared her so funny though. Do not bother with this okay, right there. Mindset time. All Android 19s want to do the same thing. The only reason that they're picking this character is because they are trying to cheese you. A lot of people do not really like this character. They're trying to cheese you. They're trying to take an easy road out to try to get their rank up. So you saw what they did. The very first, as soon as the match started, what did he do? He threw up the armor. So what does that mean? What that means right now is that if this is the play, you are automatically at a disadvantage. So what should you do against this type of play? Well, the first thing you have to understand about Android 19 is that if you are fighting androids on the ground, you are at a disadvantage if they have armor. You are automatically at a disadvantage if you are fighting on the ground. So the very first thing you see me do in this match is I jump and I take to the air. Why do I do that? One, the androids cannot charge key. They can't build up key. They can't charge. You want to put yourself in a position where you are forcing the Android player to burn key as much as they can, because as long as they have key, the more problems you, you will have. So because of that, I immediately jump in the air. And then the other way you want to fight this, this matchup is you want to fight it through movement. So what you're going to see me do here in a second here, I'm going to mess up on it on the first part is because the, the controls in this game are kind of janky. Um, what I intended to do is I wanted to fly up and down because in this game, and you'll see it here, right here, you see, I'm trying to fly up and down right there and it doesn't give, it doesn't give it to me. So right here, you see what I'm doing? Look at, he's chasing me. He's trying to get me. Why am I doing that? Because the armor move has a time limit in this game, the way that you a lot of high level stuff really is going to work is there's going to be a lot of movement and a lot of counters. Um, but in this game, when you fly up and down, um, for some strange reason, 
you can't really attack uh, your the opponent when they're doing that. Like even if they try to violent rush you or try to dragon rush at you and they push attack immediately, you it just whiffs. It doesn't work. So what in my brain, what I told myself is that I don't want to deal with the armor. I don't want to deal with it. How can I burn out the time limit so that I can reset the position of both of us back into a neutral state so that I can be back at an advantage? Because once we're in neutral, I believe I have better neutral than him. I can um, figure out how to get to his back much easier than he can figure out how to get to mine. He doesn't have good defense. A lot of Android players don't have good defense because they don't focus on it. They're too busy trying to cheese you that they never put focus on other aspect of their game. So you're going to see here, I'm like, all right, time to go in. Oh, he doesn't have armor no move. Time to go in. Look what happens. Look, he doesn't have, he doesn't make good decisions in neutral. Look, he's getting cooked. Now look, all right, I'm trying to go up and down, but again, the controls are janky. So I end up in this situation. So what is he doing right there? What did he do? In my brain, I'm like, all he wants to do is hit me. His whole brain is focusing on trying to hit me. He's at low health. He's getting cooked. All he wants to do is hit me and try to drain my health and try to just, you know, cheese this whole matchup. So what do I do? I said, all right, if the controls are going to be so janky, what I'm going to do is I already know he's going to dash at me. He's just going to violent rush me. I'm going to use the unblockable special grab. You can't, you can't, there's nothing he can do about it. Even if it wasn't unblockable, what would I have done? What would have been my next move? All right, he didn't use armor. If he violent rushes at me, I'm going to sidestep the violent rush and I'm going to punish him. This is all counterplay, guys. This is all counterplay stuff. And look at how the matchup has changed. Look. Up, oh, he did the same thing. Up, oh, key spam time. Try to go ahead. What is he doing? Cooked. Cooked. That's how you should fight the character. Anytime you see the character do that stupid move, start flying up and down, guys. I promise you it will solve your life problems. All you have to do is just burn out the timer. And then once the timer's out, he's forced to have to rely on um, going into uh, to, no, he's forced to have to try to play neutral. He has to figure out a way to actually try to hit you because now he's identified in his brain that you're going to just do this to counter it. Now he has to figure out another way to hit you. The only way to counter a, a opponent who is flying up and down currently in the game is is you have to use a beam special or you have to use um, a ultimate. Those are the only two ways currently to counter that maneuver. All right. So that is how you defeat really Android 19. That's that's the matchup. That's how you beat him. Anything else outside of that is like if he tries to key spam you, you know, when he does the move and he starts shooting a bunch of key spam, just start flying left and right or start reflecting things. Even if you get hit by the key spam, Dude, you have a revenge counter. Stop it. And they're only using key spam in the first place to just try to grab you. They're just trying to get close enough to grab you. So just be expecting the grab and take it. That's the whole matchup, guys. This character, it seemed like a nightmare at first. But once you actually learn the matchup, it's really not that bad. And then you actually will find that a lot of these 19 players aren't going to be winning a lot of matches anymore. So... Hopefully that helps you guys, but I also want to show you guys another replay just to show you like how crazy flying up and down is. I was playing this player right here named uh, Juno. Dude, shout out to this player because he's absolutely amazing. But you're going to see me doing a lot of the stuff that I was talking about in this match because Gogeta has a after image strike move. And he has, a, he has a move. I think he has instant sparking too. But you're going to see how I'm able to kind of really cheese him. Like he's going to try to cheese me with his abilities, but I'm going to be the one actually cheesing him. You Again, all these characters with cheese abilities, you want to fight them in the air. You don't want to fight them on the ground. If you fight them on the ground, you're limited. So... 
Yep. Getting combo. Boom. Nice super counter. I take to the air because I don't want to be close to the ground. So now I'm just key poking. Yep. Yep. And what is he doing now? He's not trying to engage me. So I've identified right there. Oh, he has the after image strike move initiated. I don't want to engage with him on that. So I'm just going to keep poking him out. He's trying to go into sparking. Boom. Time to key spam. I beat him to sparking mode. Let's see how he deals with it. And what you're seeing here, even with me doing this, a lot of people have been complaining about this with Brawly, but because what happens is people are doing this and then they'll ult. The thing that's much harder to deal with is when they act, when people start doing that. So look, he activated sparking mode. He can't do nothing. What is he gonna do? Oh, I'm out of there. Burnt his whole sparking out of the way. Oh, he's doing that. I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with that. I don't want to deal with him and sparking. Up, oh, the controls being janky again. So I'm like, all right, if the controls gonna be janky, I'm going explosive wave. Boom, I'm out of there. Explosive wave again, if I have to. Yep, let me out if I have to get out. But I didn't have to deal with the sparking mode. The whole point of this is to get out of the sparking mode. I don't want to deal with that. So now, up, I'm back at the advantage. Look at this. You can do this pretty much with any character. And I'm pretty sure he dodges this because he, he was actually really godlike. Like, I actually really like his play. But that's the game. That's the game. These are universal methods that you guys can utilize throughout any matches. Any matches. So hopefully that these type of things help you guys understand how you should be fighting characters. Um, even if it was after image strike, um, I can show you guys how to deal with that because realistically flying up and down really is the solution. You really shouldn't be engaging with a character while that's active. But if you do choose to engage with, if you're forced and you, if you're like me, if you're a patient player and you're trying to identify when is the after image strike ability actually over i think that's the problem with the move is that there's no way there's no indicator to tell when it's actually over um how do you do so so i'm going to show you guys how to check players how do you check them let me do this go to training because this is all you should do how do you how do you properly check to tell if after image over while still protecting yourself All right, let's do this. So it may take me a minute because the training in this game is kind of janky. They have some good things, um, but for the most part, it's not that not that great. Um, sparking mode, no sparking mode, skill bar count, key gauge, etc. All right, let's set them to. Where's the one that says skills? Uh, keeping the skill guys there we go so let's see how long this takes me because i wish there were the only thing i just wish for this game was that there was a dang way to do like a recording so i don't have to wait until the computer does it nope can you please activate it All right. <sighs> See, this is the problem with this game. This is why a lot of people have trouble with training and labbing for stuff is because there's no way to really kind of get this stuff set up without kind of just waiting at a random moment for it to happen. All right, there we go. Let's stop it. Let's stop it. All right. How do you handle after image strike? All right. We already know that this once after image strike, any person who's using this move 
after MX Strike and what I don't like about it and the mistake that a lot of players make is that once they activate it, they immediately throw defense completely out the window because they automatically know that no matter what we do, um, unless it's a grab or it's key blast, if we try to strike them, they um, will dodge it. So what they tend have a tendency to do is they will go on, um, they will be offensive um, heavy. Um, they will just keep striking no matter what until they get the hit. So what you have to do here is you do need to kind of back off and make them come to you. That is the very first thing. You don't want to kind of get engage in a kind of a scramble with them where it's really dependent on who pushed the button first. You want to back off, um, start flying around and try to bait them into doing a dragon rush and then sidestep it. But what you the most key thing, the most key thing about this whole thing is that when you are checking someone, you only want to push the button one time. What I see a lot of people do is they will be mashing rush attacks. Don't ma don't mash it. Because if you mash it and he teleports behind you, it's a guaranteed punish. If you just push the button once and you teleport and you buffer teleport behind it, you're safe. So here it is. This is what you should do. That's what you should do. Just teleport. Just teleport. Just get out of there. But what everybody does is this. They do this. They'll start mashing like this. And because you're mashing like this, you have more recovery frames now. It's going to take you longer to recover and you can't defend. So it's going to lead, it's going to allow Vegito to be able to strike you a lot easier. So, hopefully this helps you guys understand some things about this matchup. An even better option too is if you have a character with explosive wave, a great way to check that beats all options for Vegito is to go, whoops, I messed up, is to go like this. Get them off of you. you it's still active. I, I've identified it's still active. I'm out of here. I'm going like this. I'm, hey, yo, bro, you, we good. We good until that's done, bro. And if you really want to cheese the character, just do this, really, because this works on it, too. He can't he can't catch you. The only way to defeat this maneuver currently in the game right now is you have to do a raw beam special or you have to do a raw ultimate. But even when that happens, you still they how do I say this? You as a player still have the ability to vanish cancel and dodge it that just understand the timing will be a little bit more strict because you're caught in a dash animation so it's going to be a little bit harder to avoid it all right so hopefully that helps you guys this is how i literally was just playing this game for i will say like 30 something minutes and i was close to um being on like a 20 game win streak and i'm in like a rank my actual rank is around like S rank, but I kind of decided to quit the, the rank mode because I just kind of noticed everybody's using the same four or five characters and they're just trying to cheese you the entire time. And nobody's actually showing up with actual real tech um, and showing improvements. It's just like, how can I, how can I cheese you? So um, hopefully this helps you guys. If you guys have any questions, there's a lot more stuff in this game that I can break down for you guys matchup wise versus like risk and reward, understand how to poke understand like what um how movement works i also know that there's a lot of guides out there that really break these things down very very well but it's very oversaturated and i will be honest there's a lot of people out there that are just content farming and they're just kind of spitting a lot of crap out there that's not really factual um solutions to things so it's kind of difficult if you're not really an experienced fighting game player to um understand how to identify what's crap versus what's real so if you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'm going to be going over more stuff in the future. So if you guys need any help, just feel free to ask me. Other than that, peace.